now in its ninth year, the Yokohama World Time Attack Challenge remains the biggest time attack event in the world and is one of the largest enthusiast events in Australia. Cars come from around the globe to see how fast their cars can go around Sydney Motorsport Park to compare with the fastest cars on Earth. But it's not just the racing that makes World Time Attack so appealing. It's the entire show. Drifting, midday mayhem, entertainment, famous race car drivers and YouTubers, traders, show and shine, an event with the lot, sides, drink and more. The complete combo. Rain on and off at this year's event played havoc on team strategies and any dry sessions were taken full advantage of. The biggest class at the event is V-Sport Club Sprint. It has plenty of variety with Euros and JDMs, hot hatches, front drivers, rotaries and some GTR action. Some are still true street cars, but many are now purpose-built race cars built to the rules. Probably one of the most impressive performances was the Street Effects i30N. The first Hyundai to enter World Time Attack had only the most basic of mods with MCA coilovers, upgraded brake pads and rotors, X-Force exhaust, PWR intercooler and radiator, GCG high flow turbo and a tune along with some basic aero mods. With Jordan Cox at the wheel, it outpaced the German hot hatches with a best time of 1 minute 44.8, finishing midfield in a serious group of cars. Jump on board for a lap. The top 10 of Club Sprint was separated by a mere two seconds by the end of the event, making for great competition. At the end of day one, the BYP Civic of Stephen Wyman was in the top spot, the 1 minute 39.940. He crashed out though and was unable to compete in the shootout. It was a fairy tale finish for Brett Dickey and the elusive racing crew who had dramas all day Saturday with their Integra but came into the shootout in fourth place. The rain dried up just enough to let them compete a lap in anger and they leapfrogged everyone, moving into first place with a staggering 1 minute 38.7. We have a full documentary on how the team's weekend went that you can check out. Third place in club sprint went to Jai 2 in the Evo and Stephen Wan held on to second place in the BYP Civic. 
the Link ECU Open class was fierce competition once again, with six cars now running sub-30s. Some overseas competitors joined the ranks with the Tunes Motorworks Integra and R Performance Switzerland Integra. Another car people were hanging to see was Bo Yates's A86 drift car, transformed into an open-class time attack car. Even better, it was being driven by the drift king himself, Kaichi Tsuchiya. For a first outing and a basic aero setup, a 1 minute 35 was impressive stuff. <laughs> Tenth place in open class went to Rob Gooley in the ultimate diesel tuning Evo. Freddie from top stage returned with his S14, now nicknamed the SR69 Blackbird. Sporting a wild new aero package, it looked amazing with all its carbon showing. This time, Cole Powson from America was behind the wheel and he managed ninth place.
eighth place went to the V-Sport Toyota 86. Seventh place in open class went to our mate John Boston at the wheel of the Extreme GTR. The all-carbon R32 looked and sounded mental and the 1 minute 30.1 so close to a 29. Sixth place went to Nick Ashwin in the NA Autosport Evo with a 1 minute 29.56. Fifth place was the world best technology R33 Skyline GTR driven by Stephen Johnson. It dipped into the sub 30s this year with a 1 minute 29.417. Jump on board for a ride with one of the Royal Purple Oil Stars. Fourth place went to the Global Aircraft Services Evo being driven by Nathan Morecambe as one of the Royal Purple Oil Stars.
Nathan was pushing hard for a podium spot, but missed out by less than two tenths. Coming in third place was Matt Longhurst in the integrated motorsport R34 GTR. After a big overhaul and new Garrett G-Series twin-turbo setup and paddle shift for this year, Matt was hungry for the outright WTAC win that has eluded him. A cracked diff housing on Thursday, rain on Friday, and then a broken engine Friday afternoon made his weekend start off very hard. Once it was fixed up and the car setup was tweaked, Longhurst ran a 1 minute 28.6 and was into third place. For the shootout, the power was turned all the way up, but the heavens opened up and Matt's weekend was over. He still drove hard in the shootout and the car is mega fast down the straight with over 300 kilometres per hour. Second place in Link ECU open class went to Josh Coote in his VR38 powered Toyota 86. And three time winners in open class was Adam Kazmiri in the JDM Yard hard race Honda Civic with a mental 1 minute 27.75. In part two of our World Time Attack coverage, we check out the Royal Purple Pro and Pro-Am classes, along with the entertainment on and off track. Mm -hmm.